was kind of your reaction after that game? Well, it's tough, man. It's, we're, it's it was a tough loss because um, we had a whole lot of things good going on there, and it's just the mistakes just keep biting us in the butt. And especially against a team like Stanford, you gotta be air locked. You gotta be no air can get out. You can't make any mistakes, and um, that's just what happened today. They played a very good, disciplined game, and we just didn't. And that's what happened. Is it a little bit more disappointing for you coming up here, being a you know being from? Stockton to come up here and lose in the area? Yeah, and especially this is the last time I'm going to be up here, um, Cal or Stanford. So it did, it did, it, it was kind of disappointing to come up here and um, not perform the way we wanted to. But um, it's still a long season and we still have the possibility of seeing them again. So um, I just try to look at the positives and just get back to working next week. You guys knew a week ago that though this would be a physical game. Why were you guys not able to convert on third downs? Uh, I don't know. It could, it, could, it could be a number of things. It's just that um, we, 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 we kind of took a couple plays off here and there. Um, even if we run the ball good, we have a couple good plays, we still got to come back and execute the next play after. We, we can't have any mental lapses. And for a moment there, we had a couple of them, like the false starts, and maybe somebody misses the assignment. Um, we, we just couldn't have those, and um, that's, that, that's ultimately what caused us to lose the game. Your two losses are against teams that they would like to play for a national championship, mm -hmm. but one and two at USC is not a standard. It's not acceptable. How do you guys make sure you just you don't let this thing get away? Yeah, because um, you're, you're definitely right. Um, at USC, that should not happen. It's just that we need to just keep remembering that we have the talent. Um, it's not, it's not, a, it's not a, a situation where they, they, they overmatched us. They, they was too powerful for us, but that was not the case. Um, if we have, if a team like this has that much talent, like we do, the only way we're going to be successful is we play discipline. If we don't play discipline with this talent, the talent is just going to go to waste. And that's what just makes me so mad. Um, so going forward here, we, we really got to just play, our, play to our assignments, play very good. There's physical football. There's no mistakes, and, and we'll be all right. Jason, appreciate your time. No man. problem. Thank you. You guys talked all week about how big a game this was. Mm -hmm. it, it, how do you explain then the mental lapses, like you mentioned, uh, you know, given that everyone was aware of the significance yeah. of this one? Man, I, I don't know what to tell you because um, it seemed like our football team was ready for this game. And, and we, we, we took it upon ourselves to make this our game of getting USC back on the map. And it's just that here and there something went wrong when in the first, first half we were doing okay with some plays and then we get a mistake and, and we just can't recover for that, especially with a team like Stanford. If you give them the ball, you're not going to get it for about seven minutes or whatever. So, especially with a team like this, um, we play to their game. Um, we let them play their game. We let them play their game plan. And um, if that happens, there's, there's no chance we're going to win. There was a, a fourth down uh, uh, in the second half, I think nine minutes to go. Mm -hmm. You guys were in Stanford territory. Were you at all surprised that you guys punted there down, down 17? Yeah, but um, I guess the coaches, they, they, they thought that was best. Um, do we want to go for it? Of course, because uh, we, we, we don't like ha having to put the ball in Stanford's hands because sure. we're not going to get it back. But yeah, we were disappointed, but um, I still have my trust in the coaches that they, they made the best decision possible. Along those same lines, you know, the, the coach, any new coaching staff is always going to face some scrutiny. Mm -hmm. and, you know, I know you guys like playing for Coach Helton. Yeah. Is, it, is it frustrating not to be able to kind of ease that situation? Yeah, man, I, I was just saying it to myself. It's just not fair for him. It, it really isn't. That's for us, for him to have his first year full head coaching of, 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 the, of the Trojans and us to perform like we did in those two losses we had so far. And it just, it hurts me because when I see him, that's kind of like, because we're, we're all playing for him because um, that's our guy. We all love him. And that's the not perform the way we wanted to. It just, it hurts me because it hurts that um, our teammates, it hurts me that our teammates are down and it hurts me that we're losing. And it's just, man, it's, it's not good.